opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The French defense prepares for d5, but blocks in the light squared bishop in exchange for a strong center and counter attacking chances. d4 grabs full control of the center and opens up the dark squared bishop. d5 is a counter attack in the center that threatens the e4 pawn. And c3 defends the e4 pawn and pressures the d5 pawn. Bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bxc3. e5 closes the center and attacks the important d6 and f6 squares. And e7 develops the knight and prepares castling. A3 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. Bxc3 plus captures the knight and forces white to double their c-pawns in exchange for the bishop pair. Bxc3 captures the bishop, supports the d4-pawn and opens up the b-file. B6 prepares to develop the light-squared bishop to a 6 or b7. It is the last book move. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is good. This exposes an attack, threatening a rook. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is excellent. Capturing that rook wins material. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. This skewers the opponent's pieces. It is best. This allows a forced checkmate. It is an inaccuracy. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is excellent. This continues down the road to checkmate. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game.